you wanna listen? Hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm on some G shit. Shoes up with a king, and I promise you live better. I'm on some P shit. I see you don't speak, that means I don't fuck with you. On my car, it be shit. This bitch that I'm with, do whatever I tell her to. She treat me like Jesus. Hey man, y'all know the name, it's Stay Down Productions. I'm sure y'all already know what the fuck going on. We back with another interview with a new guest. Go ahead and introduce yourself. What's the deal, man? It's Demo Trill. Demo Trill and underscore HB28 on Instagram, you know what I'm saying? Y'all heard him, man. So we finna get it popping with these questions, all right? We gonna get right into it. So where in Houston are you from? I'm from Los Angeles, too. Okay. You always been over there? You grew up there? Yeah, I'm not saying when I was first born. When I first born, I came straight from the hospital, though. I went straight to Mo City. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I ended up moving to the club. You know what I'm saying? I ended up back in Mo City. So, you know what I'm saying? so you back in Mo City now? Yeah. I mean, nah, nah, I can't. Nah, I'm not in the hood. You're not in the hood? Nah, not where I lay my head at. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I only go to the grind. How was it like growing up in Mo City? Not how they think it is. It wasn't no. Uh, Silver spoon, you know what I'm saying? Like, look how the houses look like. Man. It was roaches in them houses. The water was off in them, them so called suburban houses. They say that you know what I'm saying? So, then, would, would you consider Mo City and Missouri City two different places? It's two different places. I can't, that just, that's not, it's not the same. That, that other side wasn't there. I mean, it was there, but that wasn't what was going on when I was in Missouri mm -hmm. City. I was there back before Ridgemont Heights when all that was a grass field. Um, so yeah, that's two different sides. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm saying I still, I still got people. You know what I'm saying I fuck with from that side. Mm -hmm. um, that's two different sides though. Mm -hmm. All right. So what is HB twenty eight? HB two eight. HB two eight stands for Hustle Vision twenty eight. Um, then, which one? Know like how I started them. Yeah, like, where did it come from? I was saying, I started with the, was the CEO of Hustle Business when they Baby D. You know what I'm he ended up, when it was first, he came out, it was basically his mixtape name. The name is Mixtape. You know what I'm saying? But it grown, you know what I'm saying? Ended up growing to be the, the you know what I'm saying? The camp. That's what, he, that's what the ago? foundation will be called. How long ago was that? Oh, man, I spoke a lot. Uh, <laughs> It's been since before he went to jail. I ain't gonna lie, it's been about. I want to say, I'm just throwing a number out there and say about six years, five, six years. Okay. So, describe your rap style in a few words. I'm still trying to figure out my rap style. <laughs> like, I don't like, I'm just versed. Like, I can do whatever. Like, versatile. But I'm on. Mainly, you know I'm saying I'm gonna turn up. I'm, I'm gonna turn up. Like, you know what I'm, I'm, I'm the one that's gonna jump in the crowd. You know what I'm saying? And that the people. You know what I'm but I can do whatever though. Like when it comes to that real shit, you know what I'm saying? I can do that. You know what I'm saying? I can do it. You like clothes, like Yeah, I'm gonna turn up. Like that's that's my, that's my strong point. I'm gonna turn up for sure. Even on a slow song, I'm gonna end up jumping. Like yeah. I'm just I'm just turn up. So, who do you look up to as far as like music wise? Who would you say put a lot of inspired you to just do music? See how my rap style is. Don't I ain't because of who I who I look up to. Mm -hmm. Cause I look up to like for like zero, the flip like I, I'm, I was an age time, age time. Like how I rap now is not how I rap when I first started rapping. Like I was a slowed up, screw rapping type. I'm saying until I had to know what I'm saying though is I not to switch it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I looked up to the Kiki like all of them in Houston, Snoop Dogg and all that's all I used to jam. Mainly Zero and the Flip Dog. The Flip was my favorite rapper. You know what I'm saying? I grew up in my city, so Zero, you go hit that every time you walk outside, that's played all day. Alright, so do you have a stylist? Stylist. I'm my own stylist. <laughs> I'm my own style, but the people I go like when I when I dress up, I'ma FaceTime my sister or something. Yeah. My little sister, I'm like, this look right, cause she gonna tell me straight up. Like, I'm gonna, but this look like this match or whatever. That's so what is your style? Like what? Like describe your style. Which like as far like what do you? What do you shop? What would you get your clothes from? So 
I'm trying to maybe give up my seat. Oh, <laughs> man. You <laughs> no, ain't <it's laughs> Nah, man. I ain't gonna lie. Like, my style is to to stick out. Like, I just gotta mm-hmm. be the sore thumb in the crowd. Mm-hmm. So, why I shop it, it really don't matter. Like, if I see something I like, I don't give a fuck if I pass to Walmart. I see a live ass, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna yeah. get that wild much shade, I'm gonna give me a G Star jean jacket and swag and fuck out. Like to me, you know what I'm saying? A swag swag, a swizzle, what HB call, we call it swizzle. But I'm saying style ain't to me just gonna go get a whole Gucci suit off the mannequin, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's how you pitch it together, you know what I'm saying? Like, how you go, you know what I'm saying? Anybody can go buy the mannequin. You know what I'm saying? That ain't you not swagging to me, you know what I'm saying? If I see the nigga with a some overall, a live jersey under that bitch with a like some shit like that, like if you put something together, that's then you swagging to me, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So, why I shop at this, whatever, I see something I like. Yeah. So, what age did you start making music? I've been rapping. <laughs> I've been rapping since young, since middle school. I know before middle school, but middle school was when I first performed at like that lunchtime. Well, that's back when the walk it out was like. <laughs> so how was that? How do you feel that went? Like I everybody was live, liked it. It was live. Everybody was rocking with me. Like I hate that I didn't take it serious back then. Mm-hmm. How I'm taking that? About I'm for sure. I'm 100 percent positive. I would took it serious then. I've been blue right now. Like, I've been, You've been further up there, up there, yeah. further. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie, but I just I was worried about the wrong. The caught up with the wrong crowd. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I'm just starting to take a seat, I'm going to say, but like, you know what I'm saying, around the time, what's the vision started? So, like, how many years, like six, six years? Five, six years, yeah. Whose music do you listen to the most? Right now, as in right now? Yeah. Man, I ain't gonna lie, you might catch me riding, jamming the Life Jennings and uh, Keith Sweat and uh, you know what I'm saying? The old school. So I don't discriminate brothers. against no type of music. Oh, nah, I might be driving to Lauren Hill. What's the little girl? What's the little girl? <laughs> I jam all Erica that. Erica Badu. Oh, yeah. Anthony Hamilton, yeah. Jaheim. I swear I jam all that. I probably some oil and all my Henny or whatever. I'm going to just ride. I'm the type of just get in the car and ride. Well, Go to, to the north side and just look through the lights. Huh? Do you listen to yourself? Yeah, I, I always do to myself. I got to figure out like what I can do better. Yeah. Right? I always listen to my life, dang, I gotta go do it, I gotta do better, and I gotta turn up a little bit more, come harder on the punch lines and something like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so what's your favorite song that you got? Favorite song? Yeah. Favorite song? Yeah. Yeah. Favorite song? 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 Yeah. What are some investments you would like to partake in? Right now, I'll be looking on Instagram. I wanna buy, I'm gonna go buy me, I'm gonna find me a vendor. I'm gonna start mm-hmm. my own bundles. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna start a, a boutique with somebody to learn to do some nails. Yeah, okay. You know what I'm saying? Some lay. I wanna, that's what's booming right now. Right now. All that other. I mean, true. clothes also, you know what I'm saying? But everybody doing good. One thing I know for sure, mm-hmm. all female need their hair done. They need their nails done. They always wind up behind the nail shots packed. I they mean, need to be another one. Clothes can be the same. Yeah, you're right. And that's another thing. I don't even I want I'm about to listen to looking to selling women's clothes. Okay. Like I'm looking at that, so I'm trying to find some fanny packs. You know what I'm saying? Some are coming, I see they like them, I'm gonna come with some live little fanny packs yeah. so you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Stuff like that. I've been trying to think outside of my You advertise on social media? What? Like the fanny packs, your hair, uh, all that. You might kiss me on the corner with a little bit. Hey, I'm not gonna wait on nobody to do it for me. If I gotta get out there and I got fanny packs right here, I'll be riding, come get them. What do you think of the hip hop scene in Houston? Like, how do you feel about it? Like the rap rules that you do listen to this from Houston, what do you think about it? Uh, I, I kind of I kind of got like two questions out of what you said. Like, you got to do what you mean. Like, how do I feel about the rappers or the how the music? Okay, well, well, right now, the hip hop scene in Houston, how do you feel about it? The scene. At right as in at right now, I feel it's it's getting better. Like I feel like everybody's finally starting to get the concept. It's time to work together. Like before this, I want to say about two months before this though, like, it was just everybody just want to do that. Don't want to help, don't each help each other at all. Like if it ain't them, then you on the back burner for them right now. Like. So do you feel like 
that comparison that they make on social media with ATL and Houston, do you really feel like that's true? ATL rappers help each other more than Houston rappers? Yeah. Bro, if you look at it, bro, look at Gucci man, like, everybody he signed is from Atlanta, like, like, you can't name nobody in Houston who is signing nobody from Houston, like, you know what I'm saying, I ain't even gonna put names, but I didn't hear rappers from Houston, you know what I'm saying, they went signing niggas from other states, like, I mean, don't get me wrong, I mean, get your money, you know what I'm saying, that you feel like you'll get your money, but bro, it's, niggas hard in Houston, exactly. bro, niggas so hard as fuck, enough. bro. If and they come in all type of ways, like whatever type you, what type of music you need, Houston got it. They yeah. just name, I don't know, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I, I, I literally brainstorm this shit every day, like what, like what the fuck is wrong with everybody? Like, <laughs> everybody hard, so let's just. <laughs> if you could battle rap any any uh, Houston rapper, who would it be? Like battle rap? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't battle rap, man. Why well, I see myself just going head to head with Yeah. I mean, I'm all, all I can do is picture Al and Baby D. That's who I'm used to. You know what I'm saying? But. Somebody you don't know, like you know, but don't know. Like, if you're not close to it, like, they, you think you know that music, music, but. Yeah. Man, I, uh, that's a hard one. Because I never picture myself going against nobody. I'm just talking. Okay, I'm the person that's all. Okay, well, I know what you're saying, but. Even if you're just rapping with them, like, who would it be? You don't got to be going against. To rap with them? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, mean, I always think about this shit. Oh, man, uh, Cause I ain't gonna lie, I fuck with I fuck with a lot of people in Houston, like I fuck with like I mean I can throw some names, I don't know if that's gonna be a question later, y'all yeah, this answer, but that's a name with that. I mean like, I fuck like oh fast lane, OMB, B, Jumbo, I fuck with them, I fuck with OG T boy, I was down in Afghanistan, I fuck with them like I fuck with a lot of people in Houston. I, I just want to work it. I just want to work with everybody in Houston. I ain't, I ain't not worried about paying him to come make me get bigger right now. Like I'm like, bro, I'm trying to work with the city right now. Like everybody hard as fuck. That's all I can say. Bro. Everybody hard as fuck. All I gotta do is get the music out there. Mm -hmm. yeah. oh, Have you performed outside of Houston or with somebody outside of Houston? Like, or worked yeah. with somebody outside of Houston? I mean, other I performed. Street in Austin, but I performed uh, in Port Arthur. Uh, you was in 6th Street, on 6th Street, yeah. this spring break this year? Yeah. Oh, how was it? I, uh, I was getting, people stopping me to get pictures. I was you know me, they can't get a picture. You know, who, me? I'm thinking like, because I'm going to with Al. I'm going with your ass. I'm like, who y'all talking about? Al? 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 What's up with you? Like, what you doing <laughs> yeah. So would you would you you'll be ready for that lifestyle like Hell yeah. Right. I like to I like to speak things in I like it to is. speak things into existence for everybody, anybody that's trying to make it. So when you make it big, you ready for that lifestyle? Hell yeah, they gonna love me, bro. They gonna <laughs> okay. love me. That's all I can say. I'm just waiting on my time, bro. When it's my time, I'm gonna give them the show, like just me, I'm just the show, like they gonna love me, bro. I'm gonna be what's there, cause I'm gonna be the one that's out, that's doing a lot. I ain't gonna say I'm be doing too much. I'm still a player, nigga. I ain't gonna be doing no shit looking dumb. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I'm gonna, they gonna be, they gonna wanna see what you know what I'm saying. Dmitri doing, but I'm gonna be like that. But at the same time, my music gonna be able to be heard over and for years and years. Like the music, even my turn music, like listen to it five years, you still get turned to it. Like, mm -hmm. where do you see your uh, rap career in two years? Right now, I ain't gonna lie. I mean, make me a year. I'm there. Okay. I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Fuck all the. I mean, I ain't got the 20k followers or nothing, but people fucking with me. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I, like I say, Houston, a lot of people hollering their nuts. You know what I'm saying? But I, what I see from when I'm in public, like I, I can go to the gallo, people, I have a group of girls coming and take a picture. It be tripping me out for that shit. And I ain't even, I got 6k followers. Man. How you know me, but it be, I be just like, it just goes to show, like, keep going. Somebody watching, they watching me. Yeah, somebody like, on the I got a DM the other day, talking about they listen to me in Germany. I'm like, what the yeah. fuck? <laughs> <laughs> That's, the fuck That's mm -hmm. So, if you could choose any label to sign with, what label would it be and why? Well, I ain't. 
I want to say QC. I signed to QC. Because they, I feel like they fuck with upcoming, like, they ain't the type. I mean, they they go on, they go come fuck with you when they see you got your little bud, but they ain't gonna wait till you. you they know you millions. Yeah. And like, if they see you got some stardom, they gonna come get you. Like, I feel like they real. You know what I'm saying? Everybody they signed, like they ain't come and get them when they was already the biggest thing popping. Mm -hmm. They built everybody they had. You know what I'm saying? So that's why. Juicy or. Uh, you don't feel like that happening with any other. Um, I just want to Maybe. think that's just what I've been on my mind. Like that's what that's who been doing it lately. Like okay. they sign, they sign her. If you if they see you sketching, sketching for what you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. they coming to get you. But uh, you got me thinking because how you said that. Uh, who was you know what I'm saying? I know people say I mean I've been had I mean got here real ass nigga. I wouldn't mind signing the CMD. I ain't gonna lie. Like your top two. Yes, yeah, like CMG or. Uh, so what is your most memorable moment with the group? With the group that you joined? Mm-hmm. Rap musical wise or just Anything us kids? You wanna throw out <laughs> <laughs> I don't even think I was supposed to say it. I'm gonna say it though. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it was not this year, six, not not this year, it was in Austin on Sixth Street. Not that the year before that. The year before that. 2016. Yeah, that was my before my little brother that was in jail. Bro. And my partner. Before my little brother was in jail, for my partner died. You know what I mean? We got like that, bro. The best time of my life. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. He can't even nothing, say Never, nothing's gonna ever. Even when I left this this year, this year I had to fun the motherfucker too, but it didn't top because we was all together, like. That was our very first time coming. That was, we don't even leave Houston, so that was our first time leaving Houston. So we was out there, we were drunk as hell. We didn't know nobody. It was just crazy, bro. That shit was like a night in Vegas, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I swear to lie. Would you go next year? Huh? You go next year? Yeah, I'm going next year. <laughs> <laughs> Mine made up. Oh, um, the shit show. I hate I came on Saturday. I should have came Friday. Yeah. Yeah. Who are your uh, biggest supporters? My biggest supporters is the camp the hang on we we support each other hard. We support each other hard, hard. But as far other than the camp, what can I say? My sister. My little sister, she go jam. She go jam. She go throw me like we just the same. We jam by them old school me, but she go throw me in the like it's on her daily. You know what I'm Anytime I drop something, she gonna post it. I ain't gotta ask her. So, okay. Recently, on your Insta story, you said it's the it's about how much you have, not how good you do. Um, y'all said y'all was on Instagram. With, with, yes, we were. Oh, so these, <laughs> oh, these questions, y'all. These are, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, these ain't nothing y'all ask everybody. No. Oh, okay. No bullshit. So okay. what? Don't. So what does that mean to you? Say it again. What would you read? You said. <laughs> <laughs> Said, it's about how much you have, not how good you look. How much I have? That's what you said. It's about how much you have, not how good you look. On your Insta story. It's about how much I have. I don't have to be So you just you forgot. Just you just talk be talking. No, I don't be thinking. <laughs> uh, Cause I, I say when I say something, I'm talking for real. It's about how much you have, not how good you look. I mean, shit, yeah. is, is that exactly how I read it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Y'all show Yeah. You know, Trill, I'm just Yes. <laughs> I like that comment, though, but I just don't remember me saying it, though. You say it? Like, I, don't, I, don't want, I think I know what y'all are talking about. I mean, I kind of think I know. But basically, if that's what y'all are talking about, you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, everybody always, they, people be thinking, they, like how Houston is, people are fucked with you off of your popularity. You know what I'm saying? Like they ain't they don't know how who who really the real solid niggas around here. They just off of whoever popping on the ground. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's really they ain't running about they look at the nigga who was spending his lads on his little outfit, you know what I'm saying? But it's really real niggas out here who looking good but niggas like me, I'm still I got 
I'm bills, I'm bills, I'm bills. My child ain't never missing a meal. Decent every day. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, there's people, you know what I'm saying, who, they, who, they, who need the credit, who really need the credit, other than who going broke just to get, a, get 200 likes or whatever, whatever they do for the ground, whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's about who really got paint, who got a high, who got a car, you know what I'm saying? Not, don't give a fuck what type of car it is. Who, who's, the, who's stable in life, like, you know what I'm saying? Fuck trying to look good for the ground. Make sure it's fam right, make sure your people right, you know what I mean? Now if you doing that and you looking good, you know what I'm saying? You cool. Mm -hmm. Like me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so how was your experience when you first performed? Oh, I remember. It was at the, what it was called, what the freak is called? Damn, um, I know it's on West Town. I'm trying to think of the name. I know they tour it. It ain't the same one. Warehouse Line? Nah, it's not. It's, ooh, let me think, let me think, let me think. I don't know. You right? said it's on West Town, right? Yes, it's on West Town. This is, a little, this is like a little bar over there in the corner. It ain't nothing that the big spots on West Town. Damn, I forgot the name of it. But, but it was there. And I love it. It was right. You wasn't you nervous? Nah, he was like, I'm oh, ready for this. I wasn't nervous, but I'm always a tent. Like, okay. even before, I was, I had a mini performance before I went at the shop. You know what I'm saying? Because we used to have a store called 28. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That baby, that baby had opened up a clothing store. But that's where we all meet up right there before we go to the show, to the studio. So, I, I done shot a video right there before the performance. Like, I'm already turned. <laughs> I'm just to turn up. They gonna call me when they feel like they need. You know what I'm saying? They ain't, man, we ain't, we, we too dull right now. Call d Devo <laughs> Devo gonna turn you up, yeah. So now, how are the studio sessions? Like, what are they like? Like, breathing. Mm -hmm. Breathing, yeah, yeah. Like, I didn't, like, like I said, I don't know, I'm still, I'm still, like, you never know, like, next month I might have a, a different type of, a little different effect on my rap or what I do. Like, I'm still perfecting my craft. Like, you know what I'm I still feel like I ain't got it on point yet. I know it's something I can do a little bit better. But yeah. But that's a good attitude to keep though. Oh, yeah. How long is the studio sessions? Usually, two. It depends, and then it depends who studio I go to. So, like, are you the type to, if you feel like, like you record a song, if you feel like that song ain't right, you, are you the type to stay all night until it's right, until you feel like it's right? Or are you gonna come I'm in? I'm the type. I'm gonna go back to the drawing board. Like I feel like I'm forcing it. I'm like, how long I'm forcing it now? Cause I I know how I feel. Like the songs that I that I anything I have dropped, the feeling I got when I recorded them, it was like, oh yeah, drop that shit, drop that shit. If I feel any type of like, nah, I don't like, I'm like, nah, I'm going back to the drawing board. I'm gonna just give, send me that song or send me what I did. I'm gonna listen to it over and over and see what I gotta do better. But it's something I ain't feeling about it. You know what I'm saying? I ain't go whatever I have to for it. I'm not forcing it. If it ain't coming to my head like it's supposed to, I'm, I appreciate you and pay your money and for your time. So, I ain't forcing that. How long, would you time. Say, how long would you say it's too long? In the studio? I mean, it's never too long in the studio. It's just um, based off of how long. Because I, I can do a song in 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes. Not, not off of all, all the different ad-libs and stuff I gotta do, but as far as one take, I can go in there and do a song in 15, 20 minutes. But too long, like if I stay on a certain part so long, then I know I'm forcing it, because it ain't, it's supposed yeah. to, it's supposed to come out the rain, and it's supposed yeah. to come out on there. So if I sit on there, if I'm, I give it an hour on there. Uh, sometimes I'll be like, man, I'm just too high, let me come down, calm down a little bit. If I come down a little bit and still I am, I can't force it. Writer's block, I come back. So what um what story are you want are you wanting to tell with your music? Like I know you said you the turn up type, like you gonna turn oh, up. Oh no, you ain't gonna see that in the turn up from the real story. So what yeah, what story? Like, you know what I'm saying. I mean, I ain't go. I ain't trying to be like I'm. Just, I was just a poise. I ain't have a sock on my foot, but man, <laughs> it wasn't. Man, it was hard. Like, my ankle, like, mama did a damn good job trying to hide it, but now that I grew up yeah. and look back on it, now I know, like, damn, like, you know what I'm saying? She, would, she bought me some J's or something, but 
she went broke just to get to them, you know what I'm saying? Just to make it like to me, like we got it good. Now that I look back on it, now that I look on it, like shit, if we never, every fucking holiday, every holiday we've been there was water. Yeah, the lights was went off and the water was off. Like. And then like it would, it would be crazy, like it was time I never forget. Like I went, I went to, I was begging her for some J's and the lights was off, and she bought my J's instead of turning the lights on. You know what I'm saying? I went to school the next day with the new shoes on, my lights was off. Like, shit, I didn't even have one on clock to wake up, like, it was, the electricity was off. So I just looked at me like, damn, like, she really was willing to, like, you know what I'm saying? That's just true, yeah. Like, we, yeah, all I ate, grew up off of Popeye. And, I'm working hey, on that, I'm like, Popeye's leaving for I know, but not that he's been yeah, like 25 you bet. years. Yeah. I, mean, I know everything about Popeye. I know how they cook it, bake it. Slide it. I don't want no Popeye. <laughs> I know everything about the Popeye. What's the recipe again? Huh? What's the recipe again? Ah, uh, I don't know. Whatever in the bag. <laughs> I, I just know how they make it. Like I just see how the chicken look before it's touched to what it look like when y'all get it. Like, I don't want that. I don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, catch me when I'm starving. Though. I ain't gonna lie. I pull up. Yeah, buy another box. You can't go wrong. Alright, so do you have any hidden talents? Um, what can I do? <laughs> uh, I mean, I don't know what y'all see. I know how to do, give me a little dress on, you know what I'm saying? I look, look good. Uh, what do I got? I got a hidden talent. <laughs> I would say basketball. Hell no, nah, I suck. <laughs> But I just want to say that because I know back then when he see this, oh boy, you suck. Cause they, I used to swear to God I was the best. Yeah, I suck. Yeah, but nah, I ain't have no. I was just, well, people don't know I was smart as fucking school, though. I ain't gonna lie. Like, when it came to work, the teacher used to trip out because right before they finna kick me out or when I'm skipping and I come in late, you know what I'm saying? I still get on the work and I do it. They be like, they got it all right. Like, the yeah. It used to trip me out to like on taxes. I like, get commended on the mother. Mm -hmm. It be tripping That's me right. out top. Like damn, I don't know how to. Look. But before even before I went to school though, my uh my older brother he used to I used to always do. I was doing timetables down there one two years old. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, I was doing. I've been doing. I was doing that. Right. So I had to use that knowledge for the street. So, what do you feel separates you from other artists? My energy. Your energy. I'm out of energy, undeniable. I don't give a damn. Put me on that stage, you finna be looking. You finna, what the, what you finna do now? You finna do a cartwheel on that motherfucker? Look, man. I'm gonna fuck with the crowd. The crowd go, they gonna be like, yeah, I fool. Whoever that little light skinned nigga was jumping with, yeah, I fuck with them. Okay, so does the group have a specific producer or do you guys use different ones? Different ones. Yeah, we, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, different ones. When y'all first started, did y'all still do different ones or like y'all had the same group? Yeah, we was always bouncing around. We never had a, a station here producer. Mm -hmm. We never had an at home producer like that. Okay. I mean, we, all the producers that we did mess with, they fuck with us too, but it was just never the main one. Like, we only go to him. So we know you have a daughter. What is yes. it like raising your child while in the music industry? Wonderful. <laughs> you may want to go harder, you know what I'm saying? Because she got to go. She got to she gotta have it. Like, mm -hmm. I don't want to have to buy her shoes and make it look like I want her to have whatever she got because it's, it's nothing you got it. You know? like, it's live though. Like Before, I, ain't, I used to think I couldn't have kids. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I was like, God dang. Like, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But it was never. It kept happening, but it didn't happen. Yeah. I was like, damn. And the crazy thing about it, it happened on an accident. I was like, but it was cool. But I had it on my mind, though. But it changed my whole way of thinking. Like, yeah. I don't want to be with the gang, gang. I don't want to. I, I still be on the block. Don't get me wrong. I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna be on the block. I'm gonna be on the block. I still be around, but it's just the way how I move is totally different. I'm not trying to be in no way. Like, drama come to me, I'm gonna handle it, but I'm never the prayer. I'm not going to look for drama. I'm yeah. like, fuck out of it. I'm not. Um, they can have it. 
So you would say that she motivates you to do better as a person? Yeah, my main motivation. My main motivation. I ain't gonna lie, I can't even think of no motivation I had before she was born. Like, I don't know what the fuck I was doing. I just wanted some money. That's all I was saying. Mm -hmm. But how I want my money now is way different. I'm not crashing out for it. You know what I'm saying? But whatever I'm doing to get the money, I thought it out. Like, you know what I'm saying? I know what I'm facing when I'm doing it. Like, I'm saying everything is so how did the group meet like y'all y'all grow up together everybody in the group or like yeah like i mean i can't imagine <laughs> hey yeah we, we grew up together this is only the this is the last person we met we've been knowing how we've been knowing how like before he was husband we've been knowing we've been knowing the streets they came came up in the same hood like we came from yellowstone he he moved to most city. Like we same gang, you know what I'm saying? All that. It's just like, you know what I'm saying? You know how people you live life, you went you go your little city way, you just end up coming right back. And it was just like we've been together forever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I give I do a nigga bad for well, baby D Bon D, all of them. Like, we brothers, brothers. We came up like me, but me, baby D, D D Bon and um, we was little together. We've been jumping niggas together since middle school level color. Okay. You know so you mentioned earlier that there was a store, right? A store. Y'all had a store. What happened with it? Oh, uh, uh, baby, he went to jail. So he just shut that car down. Yeah, like you know what I'm saying. It was and once he went to jail, it was just like, all right, man, this nigga that went to jail. <clears throat> Time like every, when he went to jail, everything was hot. Like people was getting pulled over and the laws was taking their, like when we had the clothes, they were taking their clothes and taking their pictures, oh, yeah. looking at our videos and cool. People start going to jail for being in our video. Like yeah, like that was trippy, but like it tripped it out because we were throwing toy drives. Yeah, yeah, we Christmas, was, was like for fun. Christmas head thing, we like, damn, so this, I mean, like, but anyway, it was just the crowd that we were attracting, you know what I'm saying? But the crowd that we were attracting is who we grew up with, you know what I'm saying? So we couldn't just be like, and y'all, Stop wearing our shit, stop supporting us, you know what I'm saying? The hood was fucking with us. It just so happened the hood was hot and doing what the fuck they wanted to do then, you know what I'm saying? So it can't go like that kinda of made us hot. But yeah, that once that happened, we were like, it's chill, we can't all of us it was a point where everybody was in jail in the same week. Like, it was crazy, like everybody was going back to back, like it was because they had the task for us just watching us everybody get picked off. Uh, it was crazy. I swear it was crazy. So he was like, baby, he was in jail for the big, for the big, big, because he was already on parole. So he ended up getting caught on something. He had to go. He went and sit there and stare at. So uh, he said that. Uh, hey, I was still going hard though. I was still dropping, but I'm you know saying it's in a better way. So what happened with the food truck? The food truck. What the hell happened? Tell you the truth, I asked. You know what I'm saying? What happened to the food truck? They sure got it. I still ate that every day, but <laughs> somehow uh, the weather had did something to the truck and it just ended up messing, messing up. Going. It's coming back though. We finna have it so we got more than one truck. It's gonna be I'm a truck that's pulling up on you. Then we gonna have a location on the south side of the north side. It's coming back in full effect though. It ain't gonna right. no coming back. When you think that's gonna be? <laughs> so what kind of what kind of food do y'all sell? Man, the wings, the waffles, the waffles and wings, they had the bando burger, they had the, the waffle with the breakfast sausage and the egg and the bacon. But the waffles was the bun. What else they had? I'm the apple. I was the food and the food. It was like the apple hour truck. Yeah, at this time it opened. So who cooking? Good, I was just about Uncle Barry, man. Uncle Barry, man. <laughs> I'm going to be cooking. We're going to have burgers in here. We have burgers. What should we doing? Uh, I'm just the one that's going to promote it to, to everybody. <laughs> Come on, y'all. We got the band, though. I'm going to eat the food. I'm going to let them know it's good. I'm just, you know what I'm saying? Support, just like, we even. support each other hard. Yeah. I ain't going to get behind on that girl, though. What's wrong with that? You gonna yeah, be in the food. You gotta give us some samples or something. I mean, I tell him to cook it and get the samples ready. You know what I'm saying? All right, thank you. Don't get me wrong, though. I can cook. Okay. I can cook. Don't get me wrong. What you can cook? What's my specialty? 